Gear review day, baby. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Today is a gear review day. A lot of you guys requested gear review, and I said, all right, let's do a gear review day. So it's not gonna be like a normal video. I hope you guys aren't bored by this video. If you are, tune in next week for the regular vids, regular programming. But if you're interested in hearing all about my gear, what I use to run, the shoes, all my little tips, etc., stay tuned. All right. Let's get it. As always, be sure to subscribe to the Chan Chan. Give this video a thumbs up if you're stoked to uh, see all my gear. And let's go. I feel like this is gonna be one of those videos, you know, where they have like famous actors and actresses on uh, on GQ and it's like GQ's interviews. It's like Shawn Mendes, 10 things he can't live without. And he has like a guitar and cologne and blah, blah, blah. All right, this is gonna be like the running version of like Alec Merlino's 10 things he can't live without. Should we do that? Like roll a cool little intro and it's like 10 things he can't live without. Run essentials, starting with shoes. Hoka, you guys know if you've been following me on Instagram or following this channel, I haven't really talked about them as much lately. However, Hoka is what I have been rocking. I love these ones, all white. Uh, you can wash them. But these are the Clifton 7s. In my opinion, for the running that I do, I mean, these are even good. I actually used these on trails before as well. They're the most comfortable, look really rad, but they also feel really good and I don't have any issues with them. So that's what I'm rocking, Clifton 7. I was rocking the Clifton 6 as well. Um, and then I made the switch. People might think, oh, this isn't as important, but it is important. Having a good pair of run socks is extremely important. Your feet need to be comfortable. Next up, my socks, okay? I have Stance Run Socks. Um, I really like these. They're thinner, the design's pretty basic, soft, breathable, comfortable, and I really like them, they do the job. So these are my Stance Run Socks, boom. All right, we're just moving up the outfit. So shoes, socks, so these are the shorts. These are called Best in Show. They have a two inch inseam and they're the rabbit shorts. Some people will be like, oh, those are super short. Listen, when I first started running, I'm like, I would never wear shorts that short. And then as you get more into it, it's just like, I would rather have uh, less short flopping around, less drag, and these are just, they're really comfortable. I love them. I wear these in ultras. I wear them when I'm running on the road. I'm doing four miles, 50 miles, 60 miles, doesn't matter. This is what I'm rocking. Rabbit, running rabbit. They're super comfortable, breathable. The material's great. They don't stink, and um, they just feel good, and I like them a lot. So running rabbit is what I'm rocking, and the shorts, and then the shirt. So this is the shirt. This thing is so soft. It's like buttery, stretchy, I love these things. Again, sweat wicking, moisture wicking, it keeps me warm surprisingly for such a thin shirt. And um, these are, I have multiple colors in this, I just grabbed the gray one. This is the shirt, so run and rabbit shirt, I will link this as well. You guys already know, hats and glasses. I just grabbed two of the ones that I've been using and one of the pairs that I've been using, but melon hats, obviously. And uh, this is the Daniel Ricardo, and this is the collaboration on the Kindness one. I like both of these. I wear this one backward, I wear this one forward when I run. And then, uh, blenders. These are the new Eclipse 2 blenders. I wore these yesterday on, my, on a trail run. I love them. I like this too, you can adjust this. You can actually bend this and adjust it to kind of like grab onto your uh, face more. So, great, great shades. They're polarized, they don't fall off your face. Um, even when you put them on like your hat, when you pull them up, they don't fall off. So that is uh, hats and glasses. Solomon Run Pack. This is a Solomon skin. Um, this is what I wear on the ultras. Now, for a really long endurance race, you definitely need this. Even if you were to do like a hike or a longer run, I think this would be good to have. You have, it's the Solomon, this is the 12 ADV skin. So you can put a main water pack back here. You have two water bottles that go up here. There's all these sorts of pockets. This thing is almost like the never ending pack. I mean, the amount of stuff that I've put in here when I did that Zion Ultra is just insane. And then I learned that you don't need that much stuff, um, which is why I actually switched over to this. This is the Nathan hydration belt and this holds necessities. So you can put one uh, soft flask, which I have one soft flask back in the back and then also too it's all so it's fully adjustable and then you have a front pocket 
which is really cool. You stick your phone in there, and then you have these two other side pockets that you could put like goo packets or other kind of uh, nutrition or hydration, whatever you need. And these are really good. Sometimes I'll just carry this on a run, and I don't know if you guys have seen videos where I'm holding a soft flask. This is a soft flask. You can just fill it up and hold it um, while you're running, so that's really good too. I would recommend if you're doing longer runs um, and you don't really have that much stuff to carry, you just want to carry like a flask or uh, on your phone, I would say go with this. Um, if you're getting into ultras and you plan on doing a big race, well, I mean, you might as well face it, you're going to need this. It's just going to hold more. I don't know, some, I mean, some people get away without, without having to use the big pack. Me personally, I don't know, I feel a bit more comfortable when I have that extra hydration, so I kind of like the big pack. but. The weight of it, I'm not like a huge fan. It's nice to be able to run. I see, I saw people on the last ultra where they just had two water bottles on their hands and then like a little belt. I'm like, wow, so that would be nice. So that's my, uh, that's my hydration. And both Nathan, this stuff is really, Adam recommended this. I like this belt a lot. And then this Solomon, definitely recommend it. I had, I had an Osprey, I'm not a, uh, not a huge fan of it. Squirrel's nut butter. This is just something I thought worth mentioning. It's an anti-chafe cream. You rub it between your thighs. I know sometimes people will get like chafe, all that sweat, the salt from the sweat kind of builds up and then you get gnarly chafe. I've had some serious chafe in my uh, running days and this has saved it. So there's a ton out there. There's like Body Glide. This is just uh, one that I got from Roadrunner. So Squirrel's nut butter, good stuff. If you ever chafe, get this. My headphones. People say, do you listen to music? Most of the time, I do, yeah. I'll do something where if I run in the morning, sometimes I won't, but most of the time, I'm like, yeah, it's nice to have some music, listen to podcasts or listen to some music. So I'm using the Beats, Power Beats Pro. They come in this little case and they're always charging and they just um, come out like this and boom, here, they're all Bluetooth, they just turned on. They're all Bluetooth. It, um, they don't, obviously they don't come out, wraps around your ear really nice, it's got this little case. They're awesome. The battery life, I would say, if you had them fully charged and you had them loud turned up, I connect them to my watch, probably like four hours of playtime. So maybe more actually. I don't ever really tried. You always keep them in the case, so they're always charging. So it's nice. Next is electrolytes. I got these. I really like these. These are from REI. It's a basic. It's called Vitalite. Basic, basic, basic. And it just has like the sugars, potassium, magnesium, vitamin C, sugars, a little bit of salt, and that's just gonna replace everything. <clears throat> it's gonna replace all the things that you've been losing during a run, especially if it's like hot out and you're doing a trail run. I really like these. You can, I mean, there's so many brands out there. I've found that these, they don't really taste like anything. I like them, they work. And then, if you guys are doing long runs, this is really important, salt stick caps. Salt tablets, because you lose all the salts when you're sweating, and this prevents cramping salts. If you're doing a big long run, let's say like, I don't know, three, four hours. They say take one of these every hour on the hour. I think that might be a bit excessive. I did my last run in Arizona. I took like one on the hour every hour for the first four hours, five hours. I'm like, okay, this is too much. I felt like I was bloating. I'm like, this is so much salt. But uh, if you guys ever do cramp, chances are you're just lacking potassium, salts, things like that. So this could be something to check out. Pop one of these before a really long run. Get some good, uh, Good salt, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. A little bit of vitamin D as well. So that's my hydration. Last but not least, my watch. So many of you guys ask me what watch I wear. I wear the Garmin 945 Forerunner. I love this thing. Um, when you have it on like smart mode, it'll last about two weeks. That's with tracking activities. When I ran my 100K, I had like 50% battery left even after finishing. That was 13 and a half hours of tracking. And when I did the 50 miler, I think I had 68% battery left. That was with 10 and a half hours of tracking. You can do Bluetooth. So I have a bunch of music and podcasts loaded on this. Um, it does everything. It's the best triathlon watch that Garmin makes, they say. So swimming, biking, running. Um, you can go in here and Let's see, trail run, treadmill, bike, bike, indoor, hike, pools, lawn walk, yoga, shows track, snowboarding, you can breath work, stair stepper, row, elliptical gate, golf, and then you can add, and there's a multitude of other activities, virtual run, trail bike, what is virtual run? Go track, swim run, climb, ski, plastic ski, cross country, skate ski. Oh, stand up paddle is on there? 
cool. Row indoor, true swing, and there's a ton of stuff. Climb indoor, bouldering. It shows your, obviously, your wrist and heart rate. It has pulse ox, so pulse oximeter, your oxygen level and like the blood, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Physiological metrics, um, maps, navigation. This thing is the best. There's other watches out there that are really good, but um, Garmin is just what I like. I haven't tried other ones, so I can't really speak on those. But if you guys are in the market for a watch, a run watch, this thing kicks ass. I love the Garmin 945 Forerunner. Garmin Forerunner 945. 945, I don't know, whatever. That is all the gear I'm using. Those are my necessities. I keep it pretty minimal if it doesn't seem like that. I mean, it, it is basically short sock shoes and then some hydration stuff and uh, my hats. And that's it. Most of the time I'm running without a shirt. That is my gear. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you guys do want to check out my gear, like I said, I'm going to link it all in the description and then the, those links will take you right to everything. I think the next video might be posted, let's see, February 26th. February tomorrow's the 27th, 20, wow. Guys, the next video I post will be in March and March is the month I'm doing the calendar club. I'm gonna be fundraising. It's gonna be super exciting. Be sure to follow me on Instagram where I'm gonna be posting updates every day, morning to night. It's gonna be a crazy month. I'm also doing David Goggins 4x4x48 four by four by challenge where you run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. So that's gonna be super rad too. Stoked! Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Chan Chan. Uh, today's video was a little different. I hope you enjoyed it. New videos every Wednesday, every Saturday. I'll see you guys on Wednesday where we're gonna be well into the Calendar Club Challenge. Kind of. Peace!